This tune is called Pump Your Blood. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. Pump, 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 the right atriums where the process begins, where the CO2 blood enters the heart. Anson, it is such a pleasure to chat with you. I have grown up watching Happy Days as well as enjoying it throughout my childhood. And so many people around the world have enjoyed this show. So it's had a great impact on them. But I'd like to know what kind of impact has it had on your life? Well, wow. I mean, it's it was uh, was still is such a, a big part of my life, but it's not so much the acting. You know, not so much doing the show. It's what came out of the show. I don't, don't think people realize that lives were actually saved by Happy Days. And it also brought light on a lot of issues uh, that uh, we helped considerably. And that was all because of Gary Marshall, our mentor, the creator of the show. He told us early on that he always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, but he went into the entertainment business and uh, he, he made the Paramount Studios his college. And he inspired us. He, 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 right off the top, he said, don't get in the way of yourselves. Forget the ego. If you want to last in this business, you have to wear a lot of hats. So you have the opportunity here to, to, to sit in on writing sessions, watch the most famous directors in the world direct. You can shadow them. Uh, if you want to know music, if you want to know editing, it's all here for you. Take the time productively. Use it as a college. It's what you do. It's not who you are. He said, on your famous platform, he said, take your light and put it on someone else important that should be heard, that can help considerably, you know, in their world. Use it productively, you know, it's not really for you, it's for others. And this is the way we, we were, uh, you know, inspired for over a decade. That's a great, great story. Thank you for sharing all of that. Because, yeah. you know, we, we know about the shows themselves. We only know as viewers what we see on the screen, but the, the impact, not just getting paid to do something that you love, but that you're learning something along the way and getting this, this mini history of Hollywood here, if you will, that yeah. you just gave. They paid us to go to the greatest film school in the world. Mm -hmm. Actually, the greatest human nature school. I mean, we learned, and, and you know, and who came, I mean, John Lennon spent a day on the set with us. First year of the show, 1974. And it was, I mean, it was kind of a, just a cold, day and and you know cloudy and it was kind of like you know we're doing kitchen scenes or something there was there wasn't a big day i think don was there i was there ron was there henry was there i go over to the to get some coffee and I, and I look up and i see this this guy with kind of with glasses kind of sunglasses not totally dark but kind of dark and this young kid and i'm looking at this guy and going oh nah i walk back to the set I go, hey, hey, bro, Don, there's this guy that looks just like John Lennon by the coffee machine. And Don goes, oh, yeah, John Lennon came here to spend, to hang with us. <laughs> it was John Lennon to hang with us. No one told us. Nobody said it. And he goes, he goes, oh, yes. And they were going on a tour paramount. And, the, and, 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 and Julian, when he was 10, his son, Julian Lennon. And he goes, but this is his favorite show. So we've kind of snuck in here. We found out, oh, so we decided we should just, just, you know, hope we don't mind. I go, no, we don't mind. We don't mind. It's good. So there he spends hours with us. And oh, but we're professionals. He, he the crew comes up with scripts and you know to sign. He does a little original John Lennon doodle. Not us. Oh no, we're professionals. Oh no. <laughs> we have nothing. We have one picture. One that's it. One picture for that moment of time. He was the great, he was so shy and he was, he became just one of us. He was like, just no airs, nothing. And he even said, hey, I, if singing, you, you, I like you're singing. I go, you watched me sing on the sh John Lennon, you know? And uh, he, he didn't invite me up in concert, so don't worry. Uh, anyway, um, he was just the nicest, humblest, sweet guy. And it was just, it's just, it was just an amazing experience. Another time, what was it? 10 in the morning. Uh, they were filming Sex Tat, Mae West's last movie, yes. right across the street. And, you know, and how they had all these cameos. Cameos was Ringo Starr and Keith Moon. All of a sudden, they're not feeling, um, they're not feeling any pain that morning. And all of a sudden, we hear, we love happy days. 
there's Ringo Starr and Keith Moon walking in. I'm going, okay, I just died, I've gone to heaven. It's, I can't get better than this. Wow. And so we hung out with Keith Moon and Ringo Starr. Henry Kissinger comes down one day. I mean, it was crazy. Those are amazing memories. And I, I think it speaks to the, the relaxed and familial uh, atmosphere of the show that would attract all of those people to not only enjoy it on the tube, but also feel comfortable on set. No one got in the way of themselves. No egos. People, they, they have this fantasy. Oh, what happens on a set? Oh, well, Gary put up a hoop outside the set. Who, you know, just to shoot baskets. And when, when we had, or we, we shot hoops, like high school, like That's we're on a, great. on a playground. We just, so what do you think of this? Thing? I don't know, I don't know. What do you think of that? I mean, not glamorous, you know, but incredibly productive. Now, as I understand it, all of these great experiences and this great show that, that created them almost didn't happen because at the very beginning, it was an unsold pilot. There were two pilots for Happy Days. Most people don't know this. And the first one uh, was called Love or something like that. TV, yeah, Love and the Happy Days. Um, and about getting a television set, this very sweet, uh, soft pilot, almost like Summer of 42. And, and in the pilot, there was no Fonzie, there was no Ralphie. Marion was in it, Ron was in it, I was in it, different Mr. C, Harold Gould, and a different Joni. And, we, and, the, and, and, and they aired it on Love American Style just to play it off. But they, they thought for sure we're going to sell. So what happened was they didn't buy it. So I go, I go back to playing the concerned boyfriend parts. And I'm up, I remember a year later, um, um, I'm up in uh, Marin County shooting a film called Lisa Bright and Dark. It was a big Hallmark special at the time with Kay Lenz. And I get a call. Uh, hey, my, from my agent, hey, they want to do another Happy Days pilot because with American Graffiti, American Graffiti came out, big hit, Grease is on Broadway. They want to do it, but this one's going to be more like graffiti. You know, it's going to be more, you know, it's not going to be so soft. You know, it's going to be more on, on that stuff. I go, great. When do we start it? Well, they go, well, you, they, you know, you have to audition again. You have to screen test. I go, we created the parts. Yeah, they think you might be too old. You're kidding. So we got it again. And this time, oh, and, they, and Don Most actually auditioned for Potsy, screen tested for Potsy. They liked him so much, they created Ralph for him. That's amazing. And the way Fonzie was written, he was kind of written like a goofball, kind of a big guy, kind of funny. And they really wanted Mickey Dolenz to play it. Henry came in, he invented that role. That was not written like that. He invented, hey, ooh, this, all that. He invented all of it, everything. He, he's totally opposite of, of the description. You know, he's short, he's totally opposite. And he, won he got the part, six lines. Well, you know what happened. Thank God. People, mm -hmm. they always ask me, are you jealous of the Fonz? Are you jealous? I go, are you kidding me? He bought me a house. <laughs> keep going. Keep going, man. Hey, keep going. I want two houses. Keep going, man. Well, Anson, I want to truly thank you for this time and the courtesy. And I just want to thank you for all the entertainment over the years. Oh, you bet. And thank you. Thank you for watching. We wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to keep on watching because those reruns last forever. Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, they do. Forever. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Have bless. a great day, my friend. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Weber, I apologize. I'm, <laughs> I'm giving you an A. A plus. <laughs>